but they were all of them deceived, for another ring was made. Deep in the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged the Master Ring, and into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. Here's your look at the upcoming release, Star Ace, the Lord of the Rings, Defo Real Sauron, 15 centimeters statue. Stop Sauron from getting the ring and ruling over all of Middle-earth. The statue features Sauron in full battle armor, wearing the ring. Standing at almost six inches tall, this figure is made of high-end poly resin with the iconic deformed stylized design. Truly one defo real statue to rule them all. Before we get a closer look at Sauron, the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how tall the statue stands. Obviously, you're going to know I'm taking it right to the very top point of his helmet here as the highest point for the statue. While I'm doing this, I'd like to also thank the folks over at Star Ace that provide the sample of Sauron that we could have a look at in this review. I mentioned at the beginning it was an upcoming release, but actually in actual fact, Sauron is available right now through various online sites if you'd like to pick up this one for yourself. Taking, like I said, the tape measure to the very top horn there. I'm going to stop it right there. According to the readouts, the figure stands 8.2 inches in height. Quickly switching that to centimeters, revealing that Sauron stands 20.8 centimeters tall. Standing somewhat ironically, Sauron comes out of the package with his arms missing. Those are things that you have to add to the statue when you get him out of the box. I will say, though, that you will want to be careful when you are removing this, especially with the horns and especially the shoulders of him being comprised of high-end poly resin. They're definitely susceptible to breaking. Knock on wood, I haven't had that issue just yet, but I did want to stress that when you are taking this out. To the credit, though, of Star Is, instead of just putting it in a regular tray, they put it and layered it in foam. So it's very carefully packaged, but you still want to be careful when you are removing it. Let me go ahead and show you the arms. As like I said, these are separate pieces. This is the part, of course, that you will probably be the most worrisome about. These little spikes sticking on tops of his shoulders. Now again, somewhat ironic to the film, you can see that this severed arm features the one ring to rule them all. And it's about the only thing that's on this statue that has a little bit of color. All the rest of it is sort of relegated to this dark, kind of blackish gray with accented areas of silver. You can see it's just brushed across the surface. I will say, though, the little amount of paint that they did add, boy, it does certainly enhance the overall look of that sculpt. That is stellar. I would love to really see a company just release an arm like this, just with the, the finger, with the one ring, of course, on the pointer. But this is just to show you, for the time being, how it comes out of the packaging. And like I said, the other arm, literally on the other hand, is the same idea. Just be careful of these spikes. The only thing... And one also thing I wanted to mention too is when you are attaching these, probably you already saw it already, that there's magnet, there's magnets on the inside here. So that securely attaches these to the torso when we're about to do that. The only thing I would have liked to see with this release, or maybe give us two versions of Sauron, is if he had come included with this giant weapon that he has in the beginning of the movie. I think that would have been a nice touch as well. Instead, what you're basically just getting is a closed fist on the other side. But we're going to go ahead, picking this statue up very carefully, we're going to go ahead and retrieve the arms and put them back where their designated areas should be the little sockets of his forearms. Now, again, when you are putting this into his torso, um, there's, a, there, there's a unique way to put it. You basically want to have the shoulders straight up. And actually, in the case of the arm, this one arm here, kind of want to have the fist standing straight up like this. If that makes any sense. We're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, I'm glad the fact that they did use magnets. It's just a lot easier than having to force a peg in there or just have it put in loose and just hope that the arm doesn't fall out. I feel like the arms are quite securely in there. I mean, when you pull it, you do feel like there's a little bit of resistance working against it. Then, of course, we can have a closer look at Sauron. Boy, does he ever look sharp. Not literally sharp to the touch. These, again, are things like the sides of the shoulders that you will want to be a little careful of. One good thing is... When they wrapped these, they wrapped this with bubble wrap around each of the horns. So again, when you're taking out the tray, just be really, really super careful. Stellar sculpting, I will say, on Sauron. I didn't mean to spit all over you when I said that. 
The only thing that's really absent here is just a little bit of extra coloring to the to the eyes. Now I go, you know, in the movie they're quite recessed when you see them in battle, but just a little bit of extra color I think would have gone a long way. But despite again what little bit of color they did add to it, even like the surface detailing of his armor is fantastic. You see all the like the little imperfections of how he would have hammered and forged out this armor. Probably not him doing it. Probably was his army that forged this armor for him. Just fantastic looking sculpting. The thing about this is obviously it falls within the parameters of what you would expect with a Defo Reel series. Basically, Defo Reel means that the proportions are thrown off. So if I am holding it further back, so you can kind of see it from the feet all the way up to the top of the horns, proportionally, it's always a lot bigger in the head sculpt, a lot smaller in the body, and usually the arms also fall into that as well. They're squatter looking characters. Certainly, it's right up my alley. I've always been a big fan of Defo Real series, but also a big fan of Lord of the Rings. So when you combine the two together, I think you've got yourself quite the hit on your hands. Again, speaking of hand, uh, going back one th one last time to his finger, I do like that they used a metallic gold. In a way, it kind of looks like you'd be able to remove the finger, the, well, not remove the finger, remove the ring from the finger, but it is permanently sculpted in there. Just think they did really a great job of painting that in. It looks like it's actually metal. Again, all the detailing done to its body. The longer cape, the smaller shoes, of course, because the proportions are off on this. But even though, again, like if you're looking at it, across the surface, the palette they've used is all just dark grays and dark blacks and a lot of silvers, but still drives home the stellar sculpt that they were able to incorporate in this. Even like, again, looking at the sculpting of the feet. Could they have put potentially used some extra silver? I asked myself that question when I took this out of the packaging. I suppose probably maybe in the head sculpt, if they had added just a little bit of an extra brushing of silver around at least the area of his eyes and around the areas of his nose, like this specific area right here, I think it probably could have enhanced a little bit more and made these panels of his armor look a little bit more separate from the one next to it. But I would definitely not say anything bad necessarily about the sculpting. The sculpting is fantastic on this. Very carefully, very carefully tilting upside down so you can see they've even sculpted the undersoles of his boots and even the area of his cape where you wouldn't even see it in the first place. Speaking of his cape, very carefully spinning it around so you can see all the detailing done to the back. The ragged nature of the cape definitely translates well to the Defo Real release of Sauron. Boy, does that ever look great. Again, here, I don't feel like there's as much color being utilized in the cape as there is to the top area, where maybe the top of the shoulders, certainly the helmet, gets a lot more of that silver I was talking about before. I don't feel like the cape gets a lot of it. And maybe that's a good thing as well. You don't want to have silver on top of black as really everything that's on this statue. So I think by removing a little bit of that on the cape, I feel like you get a little bit of difference in contrast, something different that your eyes are looking at, even though really the color is used so consistently across this. The only thing, again, you will want to be super careful of this particular release is the fact that it's a little more on the fragile side. Things susceptible to breaking on Sauron, not only just his arm like in the movie, but again, like his shoulder pads thing that I mentioned already, the things like his, his horns on top of his head are all things that you will want to be careful when removing him from his foam prison. But I will say, though, if you're a big fan of the Defo Real super deformed styling of these statues, Sauron is a fantastic spectacle. Not really much in the way of coloring. All of it really is just only kept to the one ring, the one ring to rule them all. But all the rest of it delivers in a stellar looking sculpt that's going to look fantastic on display. And again, to correct myself from the beginning of this review where I said up and coming release, good news if you're a big fan of Lord of the Rings and love the design of Sauron and would like to get this as part of your collection, Sauron is available right now through various online sites. It seems the average price asked for this is $99.99, so it's about $100 if you're looking to pick this one up for yourself. Chalk it up to the sculpting that they incorporate into this and to the fact that they're using a high-end poly resin. Just again, be really super careful when taking the arms out of the, the foam. Again, it was all wrapped carefully and packaged nicely by Starace. But again, all the things that are susceptible, which hopefully I did a good enough job of pointing out. Oh, I see what I did there. Pointing out in this review are all the things that could potentially break on him. The horns and specifically the spikes on his shoulders. So just be careful when you are putting them together. Luckily, very little is really required to assemble Sauron from start to finish. 
And because they decided to use magnets in the sockets of his arms, means it's super easy to put together. You don't have to apply a lot of additional unnecessary force to the arms to get them into the, into the torso. With the magnets, it holds it very well and the arms aren't gonna be falling out on you. And you can instantly get them all set up and put them out on display. Again, I'm loving the design of this one. I know not everybody is gonna be digging the design of a defo reel. The proportions of these sometimes can be throwing some collectors off the idea of wanting to pick these ones up. I personally am a big fan of the super deformed style where you have a smaller body, slightly larger head, because they serve as more caricatures. The thing that really, the thing you focus on on Sauron, okay, yes, it's probably the one ring to roll them all, but you also wanna focus in on the helmet. And one of the benefits of having a slightly larger head than the rest of his body, proportionally off proportions, is the fact that the head sculpt stands out even more. The one thing I liked so much about Sauron gets presented in really in the foreground here because he's got a slightly larger head to look at. Yes, indeed, a truly spectacular Lord of the Rings piece to put on display. If you're a big fan of Sauron and a big fan of Lord of the Rings, you definitely will want to be picking this one up and adding it to your collection. Again, a big thank you to the folks over at Staris that could kindly provided the sample of Sauron that we had a look at in this review. And again, if you're a big interested, if you are interested in getting this one and adding it to your collection, Sauron is available right now through various retail specialty stores, more so like comic book stores. And he's also available online right now. Also, if you are new to this channel and you're enjoying all the content you're seeing on a regular basis, and I say regular basis because there's always new content popping up here, make sure to continue that trend, if you haven't done so already, to hit the subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and yeah, come back to this channel. Not only are we going to be looking at more defo reel releases, but we're also going to be looking at more Star Race releases. And if you sort of want to have everything packaged in one place where you can check out my previous reviews of Star Race, Feel free to also check out my Star Race playlist that will cover off everything I've looked at up to this point. And all future Star Race releases will also be available on, over on that playlist as well. It's a one-stop shop if you're interested in Star Race releases. Keep your peepers peeled as certainly there's going to be more videos coming your way. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.